ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check! Everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. And welcome to another week of competition here on KCheck. We still have a few more challenging weeks to go, pero unti-unti ay napupuno na natin ang slots for our semis and the much-awaited grand finals. Kaya naman subaybayan natin ang journey ng ating mga contestants at sabayan natin silang sumagot sa mga katanungan that will bring them closer to becoming our new KCheck champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Stephen is a fourth-year education student of UP Diliman, majoring in physics education. He loves spending his free time socializing, watching movies and series, and engaging in physical activities. He also enjoys trying out new places to eat in near the campus. Si Nico naman ay fan of the series The Big Bang Theory and talks fondly about it, maybe all the time. His favorite character from the series is Penny. For music, he also listens to Adele. Parang ako din na. Adele. Oh. Si Jill naman, education senior at UP Diliman, having been bitten by the travel bug, he loves hiking and going to the beaches. He works as a math tutor in a tutorial center near UP Diliman. Last but not least, Shariel is a public administration student from Bulacan State University. Her hobbies are cooking and playing video games. She also loves watching TV shows like Criminal Minds and Grey's Anatomy. Parang ako din lang. Classic. <laughs> so these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Next, we have Assistant Professor Marila Indriga of the Department of Biology from UP Manila. And finally, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Polinao former chair of the Department of History from UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, on to round one. Get ready to buzz in and go for the early lead. Each correct answer in this round is worth 10 points. Let's, Let's begin. begin! This is round one. Contestants, question number one. Which tall landmark in Paris, France increased the price of its entrance tickets by 20% in June 2024 to fund its renovation? Nico. Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower, of course. The answer is correct. K check. Question number two. 2024 marks the 50th year of the prototype of which colorful toy from the 1970s that has 43 quintillion distinct arrangements. Nico. Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope is incorrect. Stephen. Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube is the correct answer. K check. Question number three in chemistry this time, the adjective ferric refers to which metallic element? Jill. Iron. Iron is the correct answer. Okay, check. Parang kinakabahan ng mga contestants natin. Okay, masyadong kabahan. Question number four. Anne Curtis stars in the remake of which 2020 Korean TV series about a children's book writer? Walang K-drama fans dito sa atin today. The correct answer is, it's okay to not be okay. Question number five. Which female rapper's concert in the UK was cancelled when she was detained in the Netherlands in May 2024? Nico. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is the correct answer. K-check. Question number six. What is the English name for the reptile called Bayawak in Tagalog or Biyawak in Bahasa Indonesia. Jill. Iguana. Iguana is incorrect. Nico. Komodo dragon. Komodo dragon is also incorrect. Uh, 
Stephen? Monitor lizard. Monitor lizard is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. NASA's new Horizon spacecraft captured photographs of what looks like a big white heart in what dwarf planet in the solar system? Tariel. Pluto. Pluto is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. The ICC is a judicial body established to investigate and try individuals accused of genocide, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. What does ICC stand for? Nico. International Criminal Court. International Criminal Court is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine, and this requires a little computation. How many minutes are there? from 12 noon to 2.30 p.m. Stephen? 150. 150 minutes. 150 is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. In what country can you find the 2,800-year-old Parthenon? Nico? Greece. Greece is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11 this time. What is the name of the first typhoon of the 2024 season that hit Bicol and Eastern Luzon in May? Chariel. Aghon. Aghon is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. Which song by Olivia Rodrigo won her the Best Pop Solo Performance Trophy at the 2022 Grammy Awards. Ariel. Good For You. Good For You is incorrect. I can actually hear the song in my head right now. The correct answer is Driver's License. And that's it for round one. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabby, for that round. Let's do a scores recap. Nico is in the lead with 40 points, followed by Steven, Stephen with 30 points, Chariel with 20 points, and Jill with 10 points. So, dito na tayo sa point na mas kikilalanin natin yung background ng ating mga contestants. Ito ang... Kay Chica! Simulan natin kay Stephen. So, Stephen, anong physical activities ang kinahihiligan mo ngayon? Saka, pwede mo bang i-share sa amin ang pinaka-latest na discoveries mo na makainan? Uh, yung latest po na uh, physical activity na pinagkakaabalahan ko po is yung ano, uh, ultimate frisbee po kasi PE ko po siya ngayong SEM. So, every Friday, 7 to 9 po, ano, uh, nag pe po ako ng ultimate frisbee po. So, may sunken? Apo, uh, sunken po. Tapos, uh, lately po, uh, na-discover ko pong uh, kainan po is yung sa uh, Maginhawa area po, which is yung Ohio. Ohio. Uh, po. Sarap yung ramen dyan. Mm, talaga. Kayang tumapat sa ibang ano pa ba ang, At ano pa ba ang ibang marerekomenda mo na Parang makakainan okay yung, sa Maginhawa? O kayong urban chic. <laughs> Sumukan niya yun. Oo. Tambahin niya ng mga UP student. Susumukan natin yung urban chic na yan. <laughs> Maraming salamat. Ngayon naman si Nico, bakit mga ba favorite ang Big Bang Theory? At napanood mo na ba yung prequel niya, yung Young Sheldon? Actually, nakakatawa yung Young Sheldon. Favorite ko po siya kasi uh, probably because of Penny. My favorite character po sa series. Nag-bring po siya ng humor na nakakaget sa normal tao na hindi nagsa-specialize sa science. Pero nakakagets pa rin po ng mga jokes, humors nila. Would you, would you consider yourself as a nerd or a geek? Uh, not really po. Pero in the eyes of my acquaintances, maybe. <laughs> sa ibang ano pala, perspective oh, yan. Kanya-kanyang perspective, yes. chef. Alright, maraming salamat sa inyo, Stephen and Nico. Mamaya babalikan natin si Jill at Shariel. Pero maghanda na muna tayo sa round 2 dahil susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! K-Check. So welcome back everyone. Reminder lang sa ating mga points. Points recap natin. Nico is in the lead with 40 points. Stephen with 30. Sheriel with 20. And Jill with 10. 
So, balik tayo as promised. Ating tatanungin at aalamin ang mga buhay, kung hindi lang naman, ng ating remaining contestants dito sa portion called Kay Chica! So, si Jill ay isang math tutor. Jill, so marami ka bang kliyente? Marami ba silang natututunan mula sa'yo? At ano nga ba ang pinakamagandang advice mo para sa mga students who struggle with math? Ah... Uh... Uh, marami naman po ako na nagiging tutees from different levels like elementary, high school, and even yung early levels ng college. And siguro po yung magbibigay ko na advice when it comes to math is that math is, um, um, mastering math is about practicing it talaga. When you do it uh, regularly, dun mo siya na ma-master. And uh, dun mo siya na familiarize by um, encountering uh, uh, various forms of questions na uh, under that concept po. Sinabi niya, kinulang ako sa practice. <laughs> <laughs> practice Pero siguro totoo yan kasi dati nagko-concentrate ako. Like I took sa math, math 100. Math club ka. And yan yung math club. <laughs> Fake daw ako <laughs> math club. Kasi like yung introduction to calculus, I took it during the summer para yun lang yung focus talaga. Yung pinofocus ko. Okay. Thank you so much, Jill. Speaking of focus, ito naman si Sharyel. Ang video games daw, kailangan na nakafocus ka. Tama ba yun, Sir? Yes po. So, hindi ba nasusunugan ka ng niluluto kapag <laughs> nagpo-focus ka masyado sa mga video games mo? Uh, hindi naman po. Usually po, nagpe-play lang po ako ng video games pag wala na po akong ibang gagawin na chores. Ano nilalaro mo lately? Um, lately po, since malapit na pong matapos yung school year, um, nagpe-play po ulit ako ng Call of Duty. Alam mo ba yung Call of Duty? Sorry, hindi. Mas lalo na ako. Snakes lang nilalaro ko sa phone. <laughs> well, maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga contestants. And now, balik na tayo. It's time for round two. So, contestants, get ready to buzz in. But make sure to strategize. Dahil sa round na to, correct answers are worth 20 points each. But you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round two. Question number one. What term refers to a person who is believed to be able to cast out the devil, which is the title of a 1973 horror classic and part of the title of its 2023 sequel? Sorry. Exorcism. Exorcism is wrong. Nico. Exorcist. Exorcist is correct. Hey, check. Question number two. What phrase that contains a container for liquids means a number of experiences that a person hopes to have during their lifetime? The correct answer is bucket list. Question number three. Fill in the blank with the title of a 2024 blockbuster film, Blank of the Planet of the Apes. War. War is wrong. Anyone can steal. Umabot po ba? Yes. Nico? Don. Don is wrong. Jill or Shariel, you can still answer. The correct answer is kingdom. Question number four. According to Live Science, the longest snake in the world is a constrictor in South America that could reach 10 meters in length. What is the name of this long snake? Nico. Anaconda. Anaconda is correct. Be check. Question number five. What title is given to a woman who is a sovereign ruler of an empire like Catherine I of Russia? Yes, Shariel. The Great. The Great is wrong. Anyone can steal. Stephen. Matriarch. Matriarch is wrong. Nico or Jill, you can still answer. The correct answer is Empress. Question number six. What word, meaning two weeks, is the title of a 2024 number one song by Post Malone and Taylor Swift? Ariel. 
Fortnite. Fortnite is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven in geometry. What do you call a parallelogram that has equal sides? Stephen. Rhombus. Rhombus is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight in geography. What is the name of the imaginary line around the Earth that is at an equal distance from the North Pole and the South Pole? Stephen. Equator. Equator is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. In what sport did Alas Pilipinas defeat Iran, India, and Australia in consecutive days in May 2024 at the Rizal Coliseum? The correct answer is volleyball. Question number 10. What 2011 song by Carly Rae Jepsen is the first number one single by a Canadian female artist on the Billboard Hot 100 chart since 20, 2007's Girlfriend by Avril Lavigne? Stephen. Call Me Maybe. Call Me Maybe is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. Portrayed by Kevin Costner, Sean Connery, Russell Crowe, and a lot more, what is the name of the legendary heroic outlaw in English folklore who robs the rich to feed the poor? Ariel. Robin Hood. Robin Hood is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. What term may mean all the possible values of a function in algebra? Or the difference of the highest value and the lowest value in statistics? Range. Range is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number two. Maraming salamat, James. And after that round, we have Stephen and Nico with 70 points each, Shariel with 40, and Jill with 30 points. Umiinit na ang laban yes. na. At dikit-dikit sila. <laughs> and up next, ang pinakahinihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang sa... K-Check! Alright, let's do a points recap in the lead sina Stephen and Nico with 70 points each followed by Shariel with 40 points at si Jill naman may 30 points. In the lead man sina Stephen and Nico ngayon ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. Dito sa round na to, ang sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ang panel natin ay may sarili ding competition na nagaganap. Sino kaya sa kanila ang may pinakamaraming tanong na masasagot ninyo? Anyway, correct answers in this round are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. And reminders lamang contestants for this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and the answer, but not the letter only. Man, good luck sa inyong lahat. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Jules. In 1977, the Sex Pistols released the single, God Save the Queen, which was immediately banned from the airwaves. Although their original lineup lasted only two and a half years, the Sex Pistols is considered to be one of the most culturally influential acts in popular music. Under what musical genre is the band classified? A. Techno B. Emo C. Punk Rock D. Grunge E. New Wave Nico C. Punk Rock Punk Rock paved the way actually for Emo, Grunge, and New Wave. Punk Rock is correct. Okay, check! Thank you. Next question, Prof. Marla. Science naman. What environmental state do thermophiles prefer? A. Cold temperatures B. High temperatures C. High pressure 
D low pressure E neutral pH Jill the high temperatures though um, most of these organisms live at temperatures between 60 and 80 degrees Celsius or letter B high temperatures K okay, check Thank you Prof Lu Okay historical landmarks tayo Mount Rushmore National Memorial is an iconic landmark in the state of South Dakota in the United States. It features the faces of the following American presidents carved on the side of a mountain except A. George Washington B. Thomas Jefferson C. Theodore Roosevelt D. Abraham Lincoln E. William McKinley Nico. C. Theodore Roosevelt. Sorry, mali. Jill. D. Thomas Jefferson. Sorry, that's also incorrect. Stephen. William McKinley. Complete that in 1941, under the direction of Gutson Borglum and his son Lincoln, the sculpture's roughly 60 foot high granite faces depict U.S. Presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt and Abraham Lincoln. It did not include William McKinley. The correct answer is E. William McKinley. K. Check. Thank you. So, lahat ng questions ng ating uh, professors for the first round na nasagot. So, tied sila for the first round. Yes. Tingnan natin sino mananalo <laughs> sa experts natin mamaya. Pero sa ating mga contestants, si Stephen ngayon na nasa lead with 100, followed by Nico with 85 points, Jill with 45 and Shariel with 40 points. Thank you. Now let's proceed to the second round, Prof. Sophie. Um, in art, Michelangelo's monumental statue, David, depicts him standing with most of his weight resting on his right foot and his upper body slightly tilting to the left, creating the impression of dynamism and movement. What is this pose called? A. S curve, B contraposto, C antipasto, D archaic, E frontal. Sorry, but um, you did not make it in time, Jill. Okay, um, this you're actually doing it. <laughs> Um, when you stand straight, no, with your legs together, with your feet together, um, it looks very stiff. But when you let your weight rest on one leg, that is called contraposto or counterpoise. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, then, David. I sorry, Jules. Pala. <laughs> Prof. Marla, next question. Medyo related to question ni Prof. Sophie. Which toe is used for balance? A. Big toe B. Second toe C. Third toe D. Fourth toe E. Pinky toe Jill A. Big toe po. Correct answer is A. Big toe. K. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Lu. Okay. Asian history naman. Hong Kong was handed back to China in 1997 by the British, while Macau was handed back to China in 1999 by which European colonizer? A. Dutch B. Spanish C. Portuguese D. British E. French Macau is a special administrative region of the People's Republic of China. It was leased to Portugal in 1557 as a trading post. The correct answer is C, Portuguese. Thank you. We're done with the first half attorney. Let's do a scores recap. Well, after those first two rounds, we have Stephen in the lead with 100 points, followed by Nico with 85, Jill with 75, and Shariel with 40 points. Okay, so sa next half natin, meron pang 180 points na pwede ninyong makuha. Mm -hmm. Simulan na natin ating third round, Prof. Sophie. This should be easy. 
The Sublai is the official, official academic costume of the University of the Philippines. It is adorned with ukil and geometric elements, as well as the university's acronym, UP. In what writing system is UP spelled out? A. Iniskaya. Jill. I'm guessing B by Bayun. Okay, let me finish the options. A. Iniskaya. B. Kirimjawi. C. Batang Arab. D. Baybayin. E. Cuneiform. Your answer is. Baybayin. Correct. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Marla, next question. Which type of UV radiation is completely absorbed by ozone? A. UVA. B. UVB. C. UVC. D. UVD. E. UVE. Jill. UVA po. Mali. The correct answer is C, UVC. Thank you. Prof. Lu, next question, please. Okay, cinema history naman. Which movie was incorrectly announced as the winner of Best Picture at the 2017 Academy Awards? A, Schindler's List. B, Crash. C, La La Land. D, Lord of the Rings. Cheryl. C, La La Land. The presenters of the Best Picture, Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway, were handed the wrong envelope, hence the confusion. The actual winner of the Academy Awards in 2017 for Best Picture was Moonlight. The correct answer is C, La La Land. Okay, check. Thank you. Now we're off to our last round. So, Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, there's a little science here, even if it's arts and humanities related. Okay. The phenomenon of experiencing colors when listening to music, seeing shapes when smelling certain scents, or perceiving tastes when looking at words is called A. Anesthesia B. Synesthesia C. Aphasia D. Aesthetics E. Delirium. Sorry. B. Synesthesia. Synesthesia comes from the words, from the Greek words, syn meaning union, and aesthetis meaning sensation. Synesthesia is correct. Okay, check. So, attorney, may tie tayo Nag -tie on the last round. Nag-tie na ngayon, di ba? Si Stephen at saka si Shariel with 100, and point, 100 points each, rather. Followed by Jill with 90 and Nico with 85 points. Marami pa pwede mangyari dahil meron pang 60 pang, points. Marami pang pwede mangyari. Sobrang magkakalapit ang kanilang mga scores. Right. So, Prof. Marla. Okay. Which of the following genetic techniques is used to identify individuals through their DNA profiles. A. Genetic counseling. B. Newborn screening. C. Amniocentesis. D. DNA fingerprinting. E. Gel chromatography. Stephen. DNA fingerprinting. The correct answer is D, DNA fingerprinting. K okay, check. 130 points na si Stephen in the lead with Sheryl following at 100 points. Yes. And 30 points remaining with the last question with Prof. Lu. Prof. Lu, go ahead. Okay, Asian geography. The Deccan Plateau is in which country? A, Bangladesh. B, India. C. Thailand D. Pakistan E. Myanmar Jill Myanmar pa. That's incorrect, sorry The 
The Deccan Plateau is a flat, elevated area of land that was created by volcanoes and is located in southwestern India. The correct answer is B, India. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Stephen, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 130 points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. So maraming salamat kay Nico, Jill, and Shariel who gave Stephen a round for his prize today. And of course, maraming salamat din sa mga miyembro ng ating panel of experts, Professor Sophie, Professor Marla, and Professor Lou. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman, si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check!